Final. We're back again. Alright. Part 2 slash 3. We're going to start with the back just because that looks the most completed. Got the top done. Well, not done, but, you know, done enough for now. Closes up really nicely. Get that. That just goes up and then it'll be flat with whatever top I end up putting in there. This still comes down. I redid the landing gear. Completely remade them. Same system though, so. You push in. Oh, my focus is messed up. You push in the pins here. And then you can bring these down, move them around, whatever. This is really flimsy. That's an issue. That will need to be fixed. I just don't know how. But it coming on both sides. I thinned this. Now it's just two plates. I figured that would help move these in a bit, but it didn't end up working. But for now, that just means I have extra one by two slopes, these things here. This is really ugly. I might get rid of that. Uh, redid the interior just a little bit, just along the sides. I raised the gray bar there and those bars. And now they're at about shoulder height for the characters. More game accurate, I think. It's been a minute since I played the campaign. Uh, we finally got a top. Let me come around here. Finally got a top. It's not perfect. Especially when you look at it from the side. Hold on. It's just very bland. The sides are just straight down. It's just a base stump. It's not done. Not even close. I moved the wings back, so this actually, it looks like I got a lot less work than I done than I did, because I completely remodeled the sides, how they're connected here, how they connect to the back, obviously because I have a back, and then I moved them back, so they were attached around here before, and now they're attached more around here, just so this part could be longer, because that was a big issue with the first one. Still the same wings, haven't done the new ones yet. That'll probably be the last thing I do. Let me get this off. Looks a little better in there. It's not just, on the first one it was kind of just a bunch of bricks and plates moving back all the way up and it was really ugly. Now you've got a little more accurate angles in there. Got part of the hinge or whatever holds the wing on. That. I'm not sure if I'll keep that. It looks okay for now. Hold on, look at the other side. It's fine. Once I have something attaching the top, so it's not just cutting off there, it'll look more complete. Sorry, the camera sucks. But I'm going to replace them for now. They need to be 10 by 10, and they're 8 by 8. But since that's just 4, I'm thinking of replacing it with this. This is from, I think, the Humvee set or whatever the hell. I think I'll replace it with that, just so it goes up a little more. Looks a little bigger. Even though it's technically not. Um, for the top, I, made, I redid this section and how this attaches. Originally it was held on with, where is that? Some of these. Same system as the first one onto here. And it really sucked, because I couldn't do anything in here. Now it's just going to be attached directly to the top. I th made this part a bit bigger and longer. It's supposed to kind of look like a shell around here, but this part didn't come out quite right. Um, what else on? So yeah, I redid basically everything except the interior, the lower front, and the, just the bottom. I'm not going to finish the inner top without the lights. It'll go just right across here. I'm not going to finish that until I get my lights, which will just be from each one of these. There will be a bar going across in the top that will have lights on top. And then I might just do this underneath, just a bunch of these going back, since I'm basically out of these. What else? We did the landing gear. 
or the Rhino landing gear. The dimensions so far are still basically perfect. I have to shorten, when I redo the wings, shorten each one by about half an inch. So it'll be 23 inches wide instead of 24. The length is perfect just from here to the back of here eventually. Once I got these on, these will go like there. Probably redo those as well, but just for scale. From the back to the front there, 31 inches. I think I explained the scale in the last video. Uh, yeah. I might re 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 fuck me out. I might replace this video in place of part two that I already have out, just because I read it so much, rather than straight up just making progress. It's not really going to be indicative of the final product as much as this video is. So, this might be part two. I'll just remove the other one from the playlist. There's the shape of the back, if you're wondering. Might extend this by one stud. We'll see how it is when I get the, uh, the back engines on there. And then, just starting on the, the sides for the top. And then I'll finish the top. And I'll definitely be trying to add more angles in here. Maybe have these sides go down a little bit towards the out. But that's what I got.